Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we've got a Humble Bundle, which by Humble Bundle standards has a very eye-watering price. I wasn't actually going to cover this one at first because of that price, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized, nah, that doesn't make any sense. Because if you look at the bundle from this perspective, it's a very normal Humble Bundle with a normal Humble Bundle price and good value. And when you look at it, if you actually need these things, this is actually still a very good value because each one of these individual packs is more than this. So you're getting a like, buy one for for a regular price, get 43 for free. Now, the other part of it that is really confusing slash misleading slash bad marketing, um, this is what it's called, the Marksum Bugramov uh, 44 character pack, unreal character mega pack. Now that is just unbelievably stupid marketing on behalf of Humble. As you can see over here, it just says, it says Unreal Engine over there. This is not an Unreal Engine bundle. This is a fab bundle. And if you go and check out pretty much all of these assets, so here they are, I've redeemed them on fab. And you're gonna notice something, Unity, 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 Unity. Uh, Unity, 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 Unity. Actually, in all honesty, I think every single one of these assets is available for Unreal Engine and for Unity, which also makes this much more appealing to a wide variety of people. Now, what you're gonna see here is everything here is character packs, except for, for some reason, Geek Room. I don't know why there's, there's one asset in there called Geek Room, uh, but yeah, there is. So here's what you're getting in the actual bundle. I'll go back to the tiers later on. So I want to break down. So again, you get these four Unreal Engine and Unity. You redeem them on the Fab Marketplace. Sadly, that also means you're redeeming 44 keys. One by one by one by one, which does get a little irritating. But once it's done, hey, they're yours to keep forever. And the cool thing about that is you can share them out. So if you don't want something, you can send it over to someone else. Another key thing to point out, um, if you want to download these things, you can come in here and get them as Unity packages here, or you can use the Epic Launcher to add it directly to your project. So it's definitely easier to get these working inside of uh, Unreal Engine right now than it is inside of Unity, simply because um, the process of getting fab assets out is but otherwise, they're pretty much the same assets. So you can see this is one of the assets. This is running inside of Unreal Engine. Here, we've got one of them. This is the, the sci-fi pack. So you can get an idea of what these packs look like. And they're a great deal. Like you get a lot in each one of these packs, which suddenly makes it go from being, oof, that's expensive to, oof, that's a pretty good value. So if you need a bunch of characters, well, that's what you've got here. Highly customizable characters. Uh, and then you got mechs in this particular pack. You got some sci-fi tanks. And then you've got, uh, there's a weird choice of words, sci-fi blimps. Uh, so you're going to see here, you, uh, you play on this particular one. You're going to see there are animations for the idle animations, pilot getting in and out, climbing up the mech animations over here. Uh, and then some of your characters have animations as well. So that is running inside of Unity. You can even see the uh, skyship over here has sort of got an animation behind it as well. So that is one of the Unity assets. Now, interestingly enough, here... This is the Godot asset. So this is literally what we just saw inside of Unreal Engine. I used the uh, Unreal to Godot plugin to do this export out. And here's how well these assets come into other engines. And my answer is they come in very well. And on top of that, let's go take a look at this guy right here. And boom, animations. So all the various different animations you've got going on they carry over as well. So if, no matter what engine you're using here, this is not an Unreal Engine asset pack. This is like pretty much whatever game engine you want to work with, as long as you're willing to jump through a couple of hoops pack. And if you're, again, using the Unity game engine, uh, you just import the Unity package. That's it. That's all that's required. Again, you got to download it from Fab. But so Humble did a really poor job of marketing, which is another reason why I didn't cover this one right away. So you got, again, that initial kind of scary price tag. But again, if you look at it as just this bundle, it's very normal. It's a typical Humble bundle. And then you have like this uh, mega upgrade here. Uh, and I, I think it's quite reasonable uh, in all honesty. Again, sticker shock. But when you break down what you're getting here, it is quite reasonable. All right, so let's go take a look at some more of the assets. I'm going to stick to just uh, Unreal Engine for the demonstration portion, uh, simply because I, um, I have them all loaded in here, so it's a lot easier for me. By the way, this particular asset, you can see here, everything is animated. So the, not all of these are animated, by the way, but many of them are. Uh, you can drill down into the details. It's one of those things people don't actually necessarily know about the way Humble Bundle's user interface works, is if you pick an asset and you want to learn more about it, such as this NPC Sailor, click on the developer name right here, and it actually brings you to the Fab Store. So you can learn more details about it. Uh, so I think this one, for example, isn't, uh, so it's rigged. 
uh, but not necessarily animated. So it gives you an idea. You can learn more about each individual asset um, by clicking through. So again, that's not immediately obvious that you can do that. So just go into the asset you're learning more about and then click the developer name and it'll bring you to that particular asset on the marketplace, boom. So it's almost always that case, by the way, something to be aware. All right, so back here, let's go check some more out. Now here we have the dystopian pack. This is what we just saw in Unity over in Unreal Engine. You get an idea of just how um, customizable these are. So you got various different animations going on, but everyone is made out of bits and pieces like so. So you can mix and match, create a ton of different looking characters here. Same deal, your tanks have uh, a number of different animations attached to them. Same with those blimps. Uh, there are the climbing animations for those going in and out of your mechs and so on. So it gives you an idea of how these packs work together. You can do a ton with them. So you get an idea of the quality of them here as well. And again, those are the animations of the pilots getting in and out of them, including this, uh, this guy that wanted to be an Olympic diver right here. So again, you get an idea of just how quality these are. And again, we got a number of uh, modular pieces to mix and match. So you can make a ton out of these particular assets. Next up, we have the fantasy character enemy bundle. Again, very modular, a number of different uh, settings and different uh, things you can equip them out with and horns and body parts and so on. So this is kind of a generic fantasy, like semi Lord of the Rings orc-esque looking thing. Um, so you get an idea of what's in this particular pack. And once again, let's go check out the live version of this. And you're going to see loads in, motion blur, uh, boom. So you can see in the background there, chug, 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 chug. Uh, these are all animated as well. So you get there, but the, the animation is attached to them uh, and highly customizable. So that is the fantasy enemies pack. And next up, we have the sci-fi female warrior pack. So again, mix and match a number of different weapon systems here, a number of different armor sets, body types. Uh, and then we've got the faces underneath and so on. A number of different uh, heads with various levels of damage, different hair gear and pieces over there. And you see a number of the different ways that it's been assembled over here. And once again, let's go check this one out in action. And boom, so you get an idea of what they ultimately look like. And wait for this to finish. And here, so a uh, number of different characters, uh, rigged and animated as well. So sci-fi modular characters there. So you can create a ton of different assets out of this. Now we move into the fantasy realm. We have here the knights pack. And you're gonna notice just how many different uh, styles we've got here. So you've got like chain mail, like so, uh, and then underline like uh, different outfits underneath. And then you've even got uh, more Eastern style or Turkish style armor, various different things. You got full plate. You got uh, female armors there. I uh, got more of a, I don't know what you'd call that, fan, like a fantasy style. There's more traditional here. So you got a ton of different styles out of these particular packs. Uh, so it's, again, it's pretty impressive what you get out of these. Again, completely modular. You can create a number of different characters out of these particular things. And you're noticing there's a pretty good split between fantasy and sci-fi and modern. And then finally, we have stuff like this, which kind of fits both. This is just basically horror creatures or fantasy creatures. Uh, there's a few packs like this in there as well. Uh, so they're in like a shooting pose. So if you're creating like a Gears of War-esque style game, you've got animations for that as well. But these could fit into a fantasy campaign just as easily. So that's it for the hands-on portion. You get an idea of what this pack was all about. So again, this is the Maxim Bugramov uh, Unreal slash Unity. And if you're going through some hoops, Godot, Blunder, whatever, uh, Mega Pack, there are guides for going to other engines, again, available down below. And again, when you look at the pricing, this one initially, it's probably the most expensive bundle we've had yet, but it's also probably one of the largest bundles we've ever had yet either. And if you just look at this, it's not a uh, average price tier. It is a fixed cost tier and 25 bucks US for 16 packs. That's pretty decent. And this is one of the ones we looked at. Uh, I think there was a couple here that we looked at from this particular pack as well. And then even come down here for a buck, you can come in here and see, you can get the one asset geek room there and then the one cartoony pack there as well. But otherwise you can get a couple there just to see what they're like. 
uh, for a single buck. So uh, the pricing of this actually works out in that if you want a traditional bundle, you need some characters, you kind of a, an impulse buy or whatever, these two tiers can work for you. But if you're looking to stock your games up with a number of different characters, you got a pretty good mix here. Again, fantasy, uh, modern-ish, modern, uh, fantasy, fantasy, sci-fi, or post-apocalyptic, and then fantasy, sci-fi, then we're getting more into sci-fi, uh, space, sci-fi. So it got a, kind of a good mix of both, depending on what you're ultimately looking for for your game. And again, they're all kind of like mix and match stuff. So if you wanted to have post-apocalyptic with plate mail armor, you could mash the two kits together. Or if you needed a sword from the one hand and a firearm from the other, you can do that. So it's actually a really large, comprehensive bundle that I overlooked for a couple of reasons. First off, again, sticker shock and the dumb name. And both of those, when you look over that, it's actually a pretty solid bundle. I'm curious, what do you think of this particular bundle? What do you think of Maxim's work? Have you seen it in the past? Let me know. Comments down below. By the way, if you do use my link, it does help support me. And thank you very much if you do. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.